Universal Studios producer, director, Mrs. B. Scene one. Hello, boys and girls around the world. Yes, my name is Mrs. B, and I'm a teacher in the United States. I'm so glad that you're able to join me today for a very special read aloud. But before we begin, I have a hello song just for you. And this is how it goes. Hello, boys and girls around the world. Hello, boys and girls around the world. How are you? How are you? I'm glad you're here to read and learn. We know we'll have some fun today. We love school every day. And so will you. I know Mrs. B has a terrible singing voice, but I so wanted to share a song with all of you boys and girls. The book that I've selected for today's read aloud is called Boot and Shoe. This book was written by Marla Frazzi. She is the author of this story. And the person that drew the pictures is called an illustrator. And it just so happens it's the same person, Marla Frazzi. Boys and girls, you're going to read a lot of children's books that the author and the illustrator will be the same person. This is called the front or the cover of the book. And this, boys and girls, if we turn it over, is the back of the book. Let's turn it over to the front again. Look at the title, Boot and Shoe, and then look at the picture. What do you think that the story is going to be about? It's about two dogs that came from the same litter boot and shoe. And boys and girls, one lives or stays on the front porch and one stays on the back porch. And then a squirrel comes and causes a lot of trouble. And I wonder what kind of trouble the squirrel is going to cause for boot and shoe. Before we begin, boys and girls, I have a couple shoe songs for you. I know Mrs. B is going to sing some more. Yes. And then at the very end, I have a fun activity that you can do at home with your family. Are you ready to begin? The first song is called New Shoes Dance. Here's one foot. Here are two. Each one wearing a brand new shoe to skip and dance all around the floor. That's what these new shoes are for. This is a fun song for anyone who gets new shoes. And another one is called I Like Shoes. And Mrs. B has so many shoes. I think I'm over 40 pairs right now. I like shoes, I like shoes, I like shoes, I like shoes. Big ones, little ones, loud ones, soft ones, any kind will do, cause I like shoes. And then the last one is called My Shoes, boys and girls. I have two shoes. How about you? I have two shoes. How about you? I have two shoes. How about you? Stomp with your shoes like I do. 
No boys and girls that I have two shoes and how about you? Did I do a little better? No. Mrs. B, can you please start reading? Mrs. B will begin, boys and girls. Now, I want you to pay very close attention to Mrs. B. So that means eyes and ears on me. Because, boys and girls, reading means understanding the author's message. It's just not about calling out a bunch of words. If you cannot answer comprehension questions after reading a page, you have truly not read anything. So pay close attention. Boot and shoe were born into the same litter, and now they live in the same house. And there they are, boys and girls, boot and shoe. They are dogs. Boys and girls, when we read, do we read left to right or right to left? We read left to right, and then we go to the next line and read left to right. And when you begin a new sentence, the first letter in the word is a big letter. They eat dinner out of the same bowl. They pee ooh, on the same tree. At night, they sleep in the same bed. Boys and girls, who are our main characters. Who are we going to see the most of, boys and girls? And characters don't have to be people. They can be animals, too. Boot and Shoe, the dogs. We might see other characters in the story, but they're not the main characters. But Boot spends his days on the back porch because he's a back porch kind of dog. And Shu spends his days on the front porch because he's a front porch kind of dog. This is exactly perfect for both of them. Each of them have their own place to lay down. So boys and girls, I have a question for you. Where does Boot spend his time on the front or back porch. Boo is on the back porch and Shu is on the front porch. Good job, boys and girls. You're paying attention. I like that. Then one day, for no apparent reason, a squirrel started some trouble. And what kind of trouble do you think that this squirrel is going to cause? Boot and shoe, boys and girls. Let's make a prediction, shall we? A prediction is when we guess What's going to happen next in the story, boys and girls? And it's based on clues in the words and pictures. And boys and girls, it's okay to make predictions right or wrong because that's what good readers do. Mrs. B has made so many predictions in storybooks and she's been wrong before. And that's okay. That makes me a better reader and it will make you a better reader Two. It chattered at Boot, the squirrel. It chattered at Shoe. He threw stuff at Boot. He's not a nice squirrel, boys and girls. He threw stuff at Shoe. And then it got all up in Boot's business. And it got all up in Shoe's business, too. 
Whoa, something had to be done. This is a very bad squirrel, boys and girls. How are we going to solve the problem about the squirrel, boys and girls? Let's put on your thinking caps and see what's going to happen next. So, Boot and Shoe chased that squirrel all over the place. They chased it and chased it and chased it until it got bored. And what happened next, boys and girls? What did the squirrel do? It walked away. They chased that squirrel everywhere, inside and outside of the house. Let's see, boys and girls, what type of genre do you think that the story is? Is it fiction, it's pretend or make-believe, or is it real? It can happen in real life. That's non-fiction. So boys and girls, is it fiction or non-fiction for this story? It's non-fiction because it's pretend or make-believe, boys and girls, because dogs don't own houses. They don't live in houses by themselves. We have them as pets and they live in our houses. Boot collapsed, shoe collapsed too because they were tired from chasing the squirrel everywhere. When Boot opened his eyes, he saw that he was on the front porch and he looked around for shoe and shoe should be here. But he wasn't. Oh, no. When Shu opened his eyes, he saw that he was on the back porch, boys and girls. He looked around for Boot, but Boot should be here. But he wasn't. Oh, no. They were looking for each other, boys and girls. They always do things together. Are they ever going to find each other, boys and girls? Are we going to have a sad ending or a happy ending? Let's find out. Boots searched the front porch for shoe. He looked under things, over things, and around things, and in between things. No luck. Shu searched the back porch for boots. He looked under things and over things and around things and between things. No luck for him either, boys and girls. They're just looking in the wrong places. Do any of you have dogs as pets, boys and girls? Oh, you do. Mrs. B doesn't have any pets in the house, but when I was a very young girl, I had a lot of tropical fish. Boo decided to station himself on the front porch and wait there until Shu found his way back. And Shu decided to station himself on the back porch and wait there until Boot found his way back. It was a long, lonely afternoon, boys and girls. They are used to being together all the time and doing everything together, and now each of them are alone. How sad. When it was dinner time, Boot's stomach rumbled, but he didn't want to eat dinner without Shu. Shu's stomach rumbled too, but he didn't want to eat dinner without Boot. It was a long, hungry evening. At bedtime, Boot was shivering. 
but he didn't want to get in bed without Shu. Shu was shivering too, but he didn't want to get in bed without boots, boys and girls. Once during the night, Boot walked slowly around to the back porch to see if Shu was there. And Shu walked slowly around to the front porch to see if Boot was there. But no luck again because boys and girls, one dog is going this way and then one dog is going this way. So they're not running into each other. So Boot ended up back on the front porch waiting for Shu, and Shu ended up back on the back porch waiting for Boot. It was a long, sleepless night, boys and girls. And now look at the picture. It is very dark because it is nighttime, boys and girls, and each dog is alone. They are not together, boys and girls. The sun came up on the front porch. There was still no sign of Shu. Boo began to cry. And on the back porch, there was still no sign of Boo. So Shu began to cry too. But even in the worst of times, a dog still needs to pee pee. Boo dragged himself over to the tree. Shu dragged himself over to the tree too. Boys and girls, are they going to pee at the same tree? What do you think? Yes or no? Mrs. B says yes too. And suddenly, lo and behold, there they were again overjoyed to see each other. So boys and girls, they peed at the same tree and they were overtired too because they had a sleepless night thinking about one another, boys and girls. And there they are peeing at the same tree, side by side. So even though the day was just beginning, Boot and Shu decided that the exact perfect thing for both of them to do was to go right to bed, boys and girls. And there they are going through a hole in the door. That's where doggies go. That's the doggy door. Together, of course, and there they are in the same bed, boys and girls. The end. Boys and girls, what did you think about the story, Boot and Shoe? If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you did not like it, give it a thumbs up down. Hey, I gave it a thumbs up too. I really enjoyed sharing this story with all of you boys and girls. Now, actually, I have not one, but two activities for you to do at home with your family, boys and girls. The first one is a family tree. So we're going to call it the, and you're going to put in your last name. And boys and girls, your parents can write it on a separate sheet of paper, and then you can copy it onto your family tree. So moms, dads, older brothers and sisters, grandparents, your child needs some help. So we need to write the, 
your last name, family tree. And you're going to draw a picture or you can cut it out. And then you're going to draw pictures of your family and then you're going to put their names underneath. So if mom goes here, what is her first name? Or you can put mom, then you can put dad. Then if you have any brothers or sisters, you can put grandma, grandpa, or aunts and uncles and fill up your tree. When you're done, you can show the rest of your family members. Or if you go to school, boys and girls, you can show your teacher and your classmates during show and tell. The other activity that I have is I want you to gather as many pairs of shoes and boots as possible. You're going to keep one from each pair with you, the parents or the grandparents or the older brother and sister and the child. The others you will hide around the house. The child then will try to find the pair for each shoe or boot. How fun is that? So a pile of shoes, one pair will be with you on the floor. Then you'll pick up a pair and you're going to find its match somewhere around the house. When you find the pair, then you give it to a person that you're playing with, either your older brother or sister, your grandparent or mother or father. Boys and girls, I have one last prize for you and I have a visitor here. This is my mini office and my classroom where I teach and work with students. And boys and girls in the corner over here, I have a round table that I sit with students. And then also as well, I have a large dry erase board on a stand and I do a lot of teaching on it and writing. And boys and girls, I wonder who it could be. No, it's not the Siberian tiger behind Mrs. B. He's resting. It's my friendly good monster. Hello. Thank you for joining Mrs. B and all of the boys and girls around the world. Would you like to help to say goodbye to all of them? Oh, he would. Boys and girls, reading is fundamental. And I want to thank you again for joining Mrs. B for our very special read aloud. And I want to say bye for now and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.